Hey planner babes, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. If you wanna follow me, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok using at PlannerGoAmy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me. Let's get into the video. Hey planner babes, welcome back to another plan with me here on my YouTube channel. Now we are going to be planning in my skinny classic planner for the week of August 28th to September 3rd. And I thought I would use my getaway vibes sticker book um, because it's one that when I was flipping through this planner, I saw I did a fun spread with it. So I figured why not again. And just before we get started, I wanted to show you guys a couple things. You'll be able to see flip through of these on my Instagram this coming week. But we got the new fall happy planner planners out. The ones that start, um, the ones that are 12 months that start in January of 2024 and end in December of 2024. I know the happy planner hasn't even announced these, but we got every single one at my Michaels. I'm the one that got to place them on the shelf. That was so cool. So I got this one, which is a face based planner. They changed their layout for the face planner, and I think it is so fun, this new layout. I'm just going to quickly show you the actual layout. Um, look at this. It's a take on the dashboard. And I think that this is perfect for the uh, faith layout. I like it much better than the OG faith layout, which is why I never bought a faith planner. Um, well, I bought one faith planner, but why I never bought another one again. I'm going to want you to find the layout. And I love this layout, so I cannot wait to try it. Um, I do not find the dashboard layout works for my everyday planner because I tend to be very decorative in that one. So, and then the next planner I got is this beautiful one. Um, it looks like on the new um, Twin Loop, they put metal edges, which I love. I think it's perfect for protecting it. I'll try to get my, well, I'll do another video maybe where I talk about this one. Um because my twin loop my oh the og twin loop planner that i have is under something and this one is so so pretty this one is a vertical layout which i haven't used and i think like a couple years um and so this is what the back looks like i think it is so pretty and so so fun so i will do flip throughs of these on my instagram so you'll be able to check that out they'll be coming out in uh this week I don't know if I'll do like one flip through for each or both in the same flip through, but either way you can look out for that. So, let's see. I do have, okay, so some things I want to note on this planner. Ah, there is a mark. I don't know, it's not a pen mark, but it's a print mark here. I'm not a fan of So, um, Wednesday is the day off. Tuesday I finished at 11.30 in the morning, which is great. So most of my day is free. So it's almost like you have two days off. I only work four and a half hours. And then Thursday I work and I also have my car is getting fixed. That's so fun. So I went for an oil change last week um, for my car because it needed one. And when they were doing my oil change, they always like check the car, right, a little bit because they're there. And they came back and they were like, yeah, you need like... um." They're like, yeah, you need new brakes. And then your front right outer axle boot is leaking. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know what that was until I Googled it a little bit. But I still don't even really know what it is. So that was fun. So I'm getting that fixed. I like this one. Oh, I don't have my, I need this paper. So today I'm using a mini sticker book in a skinny classic planner, which I think mini sticker books, I, if ever I find a mini sticker book that is available at Michaels, this was not, I ordered it on the website because I really loved it um, on the Happy Planner website. But if I do find a mini sticker book at Michaels and I do like the style because not every Happy Planner sticker book is a style that I would gravitate towards. Um, so that is definitely something that like, I don't feel like you need to buy every Happy Planner sticker book. Um, I think you, and just because one is really popular it doesn't mean you have to buy it either i think that's something to note because in my opinion sometimes they're just like oh this is super popular i should get it or whatever everybody has this sticker book um you know sometimes there's sticker books that i haven't bought but they were available at michael's and i'm like no i shouldn't get them i shouldn't spend the money and then i see people use them 
and I'm like, oh my goodness, I wish I bought this sticker book. But then I think as time goes on and new ones come out, you kind of don't have that regret anymore. Um, so, I don't know if I want to do this in this. Do I layer like this? Which is like an option. Huh. Ooh, this one's really sticky. Okay, I think I'm gonna offset it a bit like this. It is crooked though, so let me fix that. So, I wouldn't say that we got a bunch of new sticker books yet, but we did get a bunch of re-release sticker books with the updated Happy Planner branding. So, I would say, this is actually a tip that I just have, if you are um, shopping at your local Michaels and just watch out because they are re-releasing some of the new, um, some of the older Happy Planner sticker books, they're re-releasing them with the new branding. So, that's something to watch out for. Just gonna look to see what they have when it comes to the bigger stickers. Oh. I was outside for like five, not even, I don't even know. If, I was outside for like five minutes today. And I got bit by like so many mosquitoes. I got like so many mosquito bites. It's just not fun mm, I think maybe I'll do this one maybe I'll do it in the center like this I don't put a lot of functional stickers in the center ooh this is crooked though um, I'm starting to do that more just because I feel like it helps balance out the spread. And then I think I want to do, um, my little quote thing with it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's good. By the way, I am not traveling at all this week or anywhere in the near future. Oh, speaking of travel, because this is happening next year, but I posted a video um, earlier this week. Well, I posted three videos, three reels actually, on my Instagram. Um, maybe this one. So yeah, I posted three reels on my Instagram um, a couple, like last week. And in it, I was talking about how I was able to get me and my best friends, my best friend, sorry, tickets to the, tickets to Taylor Swift in Toronto, which like we are so excited to go to. Like, oh my goodness. It was a... I honestly agree with those that do say that this was still the Great War. So I did share about that in three uh, Instagram reels, but if you didn't see that, I can share a little bit of it here. So here's the rundown of how, like, what went down, how it all happened, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I did, so when it was first announced that the pre-cell registrations were open, I had done one singular 
um, pre-sale registration in the regular Ticketmaster verified fan pre-sale. And then after I did the one, I was like, oh, I should do more. Like at first I thought one would be enough. And then I was like, wait, no, I should do more. So that's what I did. I did two more of the regular uh, verified fan pre-sale. And then, I don't like this one here. And then after that, um, I didn't know. Well, I heard there was an RBC pre-sale, but I thought you had to have the RBC Avion like credit card. But it turns out for that one, you did not. All you had to have was um was a rbc avion um uh rewards account and anybody could sign up for that whether you were a rbc um bank account whether you had an rbc bank account or you did not anybody and everybody could sign up for it so that's what i did i signed up for it I did three registrations for that and you had to have um, a different uh, RBC Avion account, rewards account for each. So I got three different RBC Avion rewards account and I did three signups um, and I got um, waitlisted on every single one of my um, pre-sale. So my Ticketmaster Verified Fan, regular Verified Fan pre-sale and then the RBC Avion pre-sale, I got waitlisted on that as well. So I was feeling really def kind of like really sad. I'm told like that the RBC Avion email that actually went out earlier. Um, it was supposed to start at 7 p.m. But like around 6, like the early part of the 6 o'clock hour, um, I had gotten but all the emails basically saying that I was waitlisted. So I messaged my best friend basically saying because i was the one that did all the registration my best friend did not so you know it's like not her thing you know to share because you have to have a phone number and everything so i'm the one who did all the registration so we got waitlisted on all six and we were feeling pretty sad um i know well i mean i know i was feeling pretty sad and i'm imagining my best friend it was the same for her um And then, and then on Wednesday, the first day that the RBC Avion pre-sale started, um, at 11.28 in the morning, I got a text from Ticketmaster that said that I was, oh, this is still crooked said that I was taken off of the wait list and I could now go ahead and buy tickets so I had gone in um, and I had looked and basically as like anybody that's gotten off the wait list um, had basically well a lot of people had said that basically if you get off the wait list most of the tickets that are left are just um, we're going to say they are just, um, my brain's not working. They, whoa. They are just, uh, VIP. And that is very true. I will have to say that. That is very true that most are just VIP tickets. They were basically in VIP tickets for over a thousand dollars. Um, cause a lot of the ones that were left were floor tickets, but I'm surprised there was actually so many floor tickets left. Um, you know, because I always know with every, um, Taylor Swift concert, there are a ton of people that can afford or, or, or maybe are willing to actually shell out the money for, um, for VIP, um, tickets. So I was kind of surprised to be honest with you. But, like, so that's what basically happened. Um, and then um, I was feeling like there, there was one set of tickets that was 500 and one set of two tickets that was $584. And 
and I did not add them to my cart, which I should have, because I messaged my best friend when I saw them, and I was like, hey, there's these tickets, they're like $584, do you wanna buy them? And then she had to like think about it, because it was like out of our budget, basically. And then after my best friend thought about it and came back, was like, oh, buy the tickets, buy the tickets, um, they were all sold out. And there was no tickets left under $500. And we definitely did not have the budget to spend more than, you know, $500. So I felt pretty sad and defeated that I didn't get us any tickets. Because it was like on me to get us the tickets. Um, so yeah. And then... I'm going to get another big box for Friday. So yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, I wasn't able to get us those tickets that day. And I felt pretty, well, you know, at that time. And I felt pretty sad. And I kept the Ticketmaster um, page open um, until there was no tickets left. Like, literally to the point where it would list no tickets. And then at one point it listed, you know, um, accessible tickets. Which, of course, like, me and my best friend did not want to buy accessible tickets tickets because we did not want to take that away from those that needed accessible tickets plus if you bought them and you weren't uh in like wheelchair or weren't actually in need of accessible tickets there was a chance that um when you got to the show that they would deny you that um, entry i think or like revoke your ticket i think um so obviously you know that's not something that we wanted to happen we didn't buy those and there were like literally no tickets left and then i was feeling pretty defeated i had cried and everything because i was really looking forward to this um you know at first when tales of had inter announced international date she had not announced any canadian um toronto dates i knew she would only go to toronto i just knew that already um if she was gonna announce it so she hadn't so like canadians felt pretty defeated and i couldn't afford to go some people were like going to go to um europe you know like england they were gonna make a whole little, little trip out of it and i it's just not something like me and my mom do plan to go to um england and london and the uk at some point but it's just not something that was in the budget to go like next year um so it was just something that like we couldn't do for like i couldn't do i wouldn't be able to afford that it just wouldn't you know financially make sense like i would literally like you know is go into my savings that is saved up for a specific purpose and it was like not gonna happen so um that being said um i was like i was saying i was feeling pretty defeated that i was not able to secure the tickets for m me and my best friend to go um and then i was and then i went to go make my lunch because I, I needed to eat lunch i made my lunch and then when i came back from making my lunch um that one i'm gonna come back when i was in the process of making my lunch sorry, my brain is really not working right now i am struggling to share this story as i am um doing this pile of me i'm gonna struggle so basically i'm gonna recap because i've been just really struggling to share the story so um i waited on the Ticketmaster page till there were no tickets left felt pretty defeated bawled my eyes out and then i went to go make myself lunch because obviously i needed to eat and then um when i made my lunch and I was the process of making my lunch um i did the Ticketmaster page itself reloaded or i reloaded it but there ended up being a bunch of nosebleed tickets um, that were at $203 a piece. So I went right away and tried, I went right away to secure the tickets. Um, I added whichever one, cause when you click on a ticket and try to add it to your cart, it'll give you like a message if you can't buy them anymore cause somebody else did that, oh, um, you know, the, the ticket that you want like oh another fan got it i don't remember what the message was but it, it had something like oh another fan already snagged those tickets like you know something like that i know it mentioned like a fan like it that was definitely the terminology so um i know the first one that i clicked on it was like oops no somebody already bought that 
so whichever one would actually allow me to add it to cart was the um was the one that i added in my cart and then i went through the checkout process and as i was like entering on my bank on my you know credit card info i like realized i didn't even know what section we were going to be in um and so i was like do i go back and check and i'm like wait no that's really stupid like i already lost us the ticket the tickets once i'm not going to do that again so um i immediately like checked out um and then it asked for a verification code from my bank so i had my bank text me the verification code which it did and then um and then uh it spun around you had like once the tickets were in your cart you had like seven minutes to buy them before um the like timer went out and then you couldn't buy them and they went back on like the pre-sale list to be sold again so um then like i said they were in my car i was as the and then i got the verification code um and then it's and then once um the verification code was in, it was kind of like spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and i was so nervous that um because it was spinning like and it had like the load thing and it kept spinning and i was worried that it would actually sell out before i had a chance to um like finish because the countdown on the clock was going down so that's what ended up happening and then um it finally went through and I got the tickets in my car, uh, in my Ticketmaster account. And then after the tickets were in my Ticketmaster account, that's when I decided to check what section we were sitting in. And then I called my best friend because I, w I could have called my best friend while I was buying the tickets, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have them in my car, purchased in my Ticketmaster account before I even called her. And then I called my best friend and I started singing The Great War. Um... And she kind of wasn't i could tell she was confused to why i was singing it and then um and then i explained to her like right away i'm like we got tickets we're going we survived the great war and it was like really kind of fun you know and i know a lot of people um might knock as for going through this whole process of buying these tickets and things like that um but concerts can be a really fun experience and they're part of uh creating memories and me and my best friend have never me and my best friends because i have like two best friends they're twins we have never gone on a trip together um so not not both of my best friends are coming one of them concerts are just too much of and then like they're too i guess they're too much of an overstimulating environment for her so she's not coming she was okay with that um i did invite her to come with us to toronto but i think she didn't want to do that too because she didn't want to like stay alone in the hotel room um while we go to the concert but concerts can be a fun experience especially when you do it with friends and it's something that um i knew was going to be fun for me and my best friend to do to go all the way to um toronto and create a whole trip out of it but like, like i said i've never gone on a trip with my best friends so i thought it would be so fun for us to do and so when we kept getting waitlisted and i was like okay there's no way we'll get tickets i was feeling like i said pretty sad um because i was looking forward to this really fun experience but then we were finally were um we finally were able to i was finally able to get us the tickets and it's just so exciting that me and my friend get to go and create this super fun experience and create these memories um you know and we're all gonna we're gonna go at a certain era i'm gonna go as the lover era so i will definitely document that process closer to the concert next year of my outfit and everything but yeah that's how me and my best friend survived the great war and got taylor swift tickets basically during this chat i finished this plan with me i think it's so cute i think there's enough stickers in here there's not too many which i like and i think it turned out so cute if you liked this plan with me video as well as this spread can hit the like button you can also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me you can follow me at planical amy on instagram and tiktok and threads as well you can follow my washi tape brand at wonder washi tape on instagram or you can go to wonderwashi.etsy.com to shop them until the next time planner babes bye